this segment I'm going to talk about how the JTB helped a couple of RV park and RV park owners and uh, up until now I've only talked about how the JTB can help the the RV out but uh, we've got a group of RVers here we call them the JTB crew but basically it's a group of eight or ten RVers that usually go together and uh, from park to park and all of them have JTBs installed in their in their RVs and they went up into Oklahoma and uh, to a fairly new park and it got good reviews and everything and when they got there well the, the manager saw how many of them was coming in and and he knew they were coming but in the meantime when they got there Labor Day weekend it was it was pretty warm of course everybody's trying to run their air conditioners and and uh, trying to stay cool and he told, warned them when they got in he says well we're our 50 amp legs are are getting overloaded and then they asked him said well have you got uh, 30 amp legs and 20 amp legs and 50 amp he said yes sir he said are they all wired on separate legs yes sir they all are wired on separate legs he says well have you got a, another have you got spots for us I said yes sir we, we have them reserved for you but we're just letting you know that we're having power problems and uh, we're kind of getting overloaded and uh, We've tripped a breaker or two, but we have made some adjustments to where right now they're holding. They said, well, let us on that leg. We'll, we'll, since we're here, let us go on ahead and hook up and, and set up, and hopefully we won't overload you. Well, at that particular time, he didn't understand that all of them had JTBs. And uh, we have uh, a couple of trailers that have in that group that has two JTBs in them. So what they did, they all went and they, they hooked up and they used their 50-30 adapters and, and they plugged up into the 30-amp the uh, plugs and then they plugged their JTBs into the 20 amps and that got all of their air conditioners running. But the ones, the couple that had 50-amp, or they had the two JTBs, they went on ahead and plugged their 50 in but then they plugged one JTB into the 30 and one JP, JTB into the 20. And when they did all of that, well then the park owner, he come down there and he said, I just don't understand what's going on here. He says, I, I figured that 50 amp breaker would be kicking me now. And uh, he says, it's not. And uh, uh, they said, well, you might want to check the 30 amp leg on, on this particular situation. You might want to meter it and see, see what it looks like. So. He went and did some checking and he said, yeah, y'all, the 30 amps is, is getting on up there pretty good, but the 50 amp, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's light loaded. And uh, then they also knew that the 20 amp had the JTBs on it. So he was asking them, he said, what, did, what is it that y'all are doing different than the other travel trailers? Because the other travel trailers are just loading us up and you guys seem to be distributing. What, what are you doing? And they said, well, what you don't know is we have the JTB power solution in every one of ours, and it gives us several options of what we can plug, where we can plug, and, and uh, how we plug it in. So that's what we've done. We're just only using a couple of 50-amp plugs, and uh, then all the JTBs are into the 30s. So I think when it was all said and done, a couple of more of those... Uh, 50 ampers got to take their adapters off and just go straight 50 but then uh, some of them st 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 still use the 30 by 50 adapter and then plug their JTB into the 20. They went all weekend and, and didn't have a problem and the, and the park owner come by and talk to them two or three times and uh, from that situation there was other there was other uh, RVs there that saw what was going on, the word got out, and uh, now they're, they're uh, thinking about buying, uh, getting JTBs installed in their motor coaches to help them out. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's kind of how we get the, how we've got the word out is, is uh, we go and do some checking and testing and, and see what happens without saying a whole lot about the JTB until we have the actual experience. Now that 
that park owner has seen exactly what the JTB can do for them, then uh, up until now, a lot of park owners said, oh, no, I don't want the JTB in here because it, 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 it uh, pulls more power, and we don't need you to pull no more power. Well, if the parks are wired properly, then the JTB is, is a management tool for the park owner just as it's a management tool for the RV owner. And uh, since then, I think they have went back uh, this last weekend, I believe they went back to that park. And they, uh, of course it's a little cooler here, so they're not using as much power as they once did. But uh, anyway, uh, they left there with that park manager being, being happy and uh, you know, I'm sure he's told other parks about how the JTB can help them. Now, another situation is a park that right here in Texas that we visited after the guy that we installed the uh, JTB in the Airstream. He was in the park doing some testing, and I'm thinking what he does, he tests the internet quality and, and uh, such as that, and then he tries to... Uh, sell them a package of video package uh, different ways that they can supply wireless better to their parks and as he was doing some testing well then the park owner there asked him he said what, what's what's this what's this other thing you're plugging up he says oh that's the JTB the JTB gives me the extra power I need to to run all of my test equipment and he asked the guy, he says, do you have any trailers, any owners with RVs in here that are having trouble running uh, air conditioners or staying cool? He said, oh yeah, we've got two or three in here that that uh, have been tripping breakers all summer and trying to keep their uh, trailers cool and, and can't because they can't run both air conditioners. And um, he he told the park owner about that. He says, well, they need to, they need to, uh, get introduced to the JTB and sure enough they went to the website and then the guy called me and uh, I says sure we got the JTB I'll bring you over some brochures and then you can uh, talk to these uh, we'll be more than glad to talk to these these trailer owners and, and show them how the JTB can help them and I says now how you got your park wired he, he says well I've got it wired to wherever terminal or every spot has a 50, a 30, and a 20, and every spot has its own meter, and everybody pays for their own power. I said, so adding the JTB is not going to be a problem for you? He says, no, because they pay for their own power. He says, I think the JTB will make them happy where they will stay here, and they'll stay here through the summer and um, not move around try to find a cooler spot. So he says, I think the JTB will help, will help uh, these considerably so we uh, they contacted me and and talked to me and and um, I'm expecting these guys to get some JTBs purchased and and get them uh, installed uh, in the, in the future but um, a sad situation that we had on the JTB was a park owner that furnished the power and they were kicking breakers and couldn't run their second air conditioners and this was here in Texas and the people the RV owners moved out of the park because they couldn't stay cool and they went to other parks and um, so that RV owner knows about the JTB but then he uh, knew it was going to pull more power and and he wasn't real happy about that so we're going to have some park situations where the JTBs is uh, not going to be uh, such a big hit but um, anyway I just wanted to to enlighten y'all of how the JTB can help and help the RV park and that the RV park owners are are encouraging to have the JTBs simply because the JTB distributes power e not evenly but it distributes power across all of their power grids and all of their electrical circuits. It, it uses their 20 amp circuits some, it uses their 30 amp some, it uses their 50 amp some. So that's how the JTB can help the RV parks. And uh, if anybody has any questions that they want to ask me, uh, you can call me, you can email me, 
or now then we've got a new forum up on our website. You can go into the forum and ask us a question if you want to. And, and I'll, I will do everything I can to, to get back with you and I'll do everything I can to, to answer your questions. Thank you.